Okay, just a reminder, obviously we've got the Romeo microphone, so please raise your hand and we'll get one of the guys on the side to pass you the microphone. So, raise your hand who'd like to go first. We can start with Simon down here, please. Thank you. Hi, Mauricio. Hi. Um, what's your take on the game and, and how it leaves you in the tie? I think uh, it's still open. It's going to be difficult because uh, I think we lost the game. Um, now it's about to, um, to prepare the, the second leg and, and go there and try to, to win the game. Only um, we need one result that is to win. We want uh, to be on the on the final. Take David down here, Dudley. Yep. Maurizio, did, did you think that the focus and the attitude was right in the first thirty minutes? I I, no, I don't want to talk about the attitude. I think the attitude was there. I think we didn't find a way to to play. I think it was the team. Didn't show the energy that we wanted to, to show. I think they show more energy than us. I think um, um, the way that we can see the goal uh, is so painful. I think we, we were so poor in, in this action. And of course, we, we never. It's true. I agree with you. In the first half an hour of the game, we struggled because I think uh, they show more energy. They were more proactive than us. That was, I think, the key. I think after 30 minutes we start to equalize the the game, um, and of course after um, uh, when Sissoko was seen, I think they start to play better. We start to um, to show more, um, I think, um, energy, of course. Um, but of course we start to play better, and the second half I think was was much much better. We push them to to play deeper, and I think. Um, we start to press in the way that we wanted to press. We start to play more. And I think um, the second half uh, give us the hope for the second leg on, on Amsterdam, of course. OK, take a question down here from Rex. Maurizio, did this game prove that your new stadium is better than the depth of your squad? Our new stadium is, uh, is amazing. I think it's the best in the world, maybe. But in relation to the squad, which wasn't capable... Of How you are going to assess league. that? How you are going to compare one stadium with, with the squad? We have the squad that we have. I am happy with my squad. My player is still thinking the same. Our heroes, to be in the situation that we are today, I think is, uh, um, we need to, 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 to give uh, them the full credit. But of course, the uh, first half an hour wasn't the best. With all the circumstances that we are fighting, I think uh, we are still we are alive in the on the game and the tie. And you know that is uh, is difficult to talk about and to make the comparison in between uh, facilities or a squad or a player. I think it's not fair to to compare that. Okay, take a question from this gentleman just up here. Yep. Mauricio, hola, eh, hola. Martínez in the ESPN. Uh, I wanted to ask you about. Uh, you were right in the second half, uh, you changed the game mainly with uh, Sissoko coming in, but you didn't create many chances, clear chances. I agree. Why was that? No, I agree, I agree, I agree. I think we didn't create many chances. I think we we arrived in the last third, but we didn't uh, find a way to to, to create clear chances. I think, um, of, of course, that always was the feeling of the was the feeling that we can score, but always we miss the last pass or we the last shoot, or you know, or, or we're blocked for the defensive line of uh, Ajax. But I think um, we fell. I think um, that we can be on the on the tie. I think the second half, because I think we take more risk and we try to go forward and we allow to them to run and and to have few chances. But I think it uh, gave us the, the, the hope that maybe in the second leg is going to be tough, of course for us, but it's going to be tough for them and it's, it's still to, uh, open. You know very well that maybe today wasn't our best game on the first half from the beginning. Um, I think we are all agreed that we cannot start the game like this, but they were fresh, they were more proactive than us and was so tough to be on the game for us. Um, but that, that can change in the second leg. Um, in football, uh, you must to be 
quiet and and of course analyze the things and and of course take decision for the second leg and for sure we are going to be competitive. Okay, Jack down here. Maurizio, just on Jan's injury, and could you just talk us through the decision making before he went back on? Did you speak to him before he went back on? I wasn't involved. I wasn't involved. That was doctor uh, doctor decision. Um, I think it's so important things. Uh, the rules and the protocol, of, uh, the protocol are there, and our medical staff follow the protocol. I never was involved. Um, the decision was the doctor. Um, the referee asked for the responsibility. Go in. In the next action, we need, we need to put him out because uh, he didn't feel well. And okay. have you got any concerns over how he is now? No, he's okay. No, it was good. It was walking away. Um, was more relaxed. Hope is not a, a big issue uh, or a big issue. Okay. Of course. Sang Mauli. So I want to also ask you about you about Yan. He is okay now. You you think? What was the latest news about him? I, I don't know. Uh, he was walking away of the stadium now. Uh, yeah. Hope that is well. Uh, you know very well that always you need to keep eyes uh, watching him and and monitoring him. Um, because it was uh, a big knock, but you know, hope is not a big issue. At the moment, it's okay. Just, just one more. Uh, your team looked much better in the second half. What did you talk to your players in the, in the half time? I need. We need to. Uh, we fix some uh, situation on the pitch and tactical things uh, that we need to to to, to fix. Um, and of course, and then we talk about. Um, of course, uh, we were talking like in every single game to try to, to help the team to, to provide the best tool for the second half. OK, we'll take Matt and then two more after that. Um, uh, Maurizio, at a time when concussion in football is a very serious matter and has been spoken about widely, are you comfortable with the fact that one of your players was sent back onto the field when so soon afterwards he's in clear physical distress. Wasn't wasn't my decision. I repeat, wasn't. No, no, my I decision. just wonder if you're comfortable and whether you'll look at it as a club. For me, first of all, right is your taken. life. Is the we must protect the the, the player integrity and and of course, um, I wasn't out of the the conversation and our medical staff follow the protocol. And they decide that it was possible to to restart the game and start to play again. But of course, that was Shan in that moment when, in the following action, he started to feel unwell, and and we need to change him and to put out. Paul, now did the uh, were the tests done on the side of the pitch by the doctor when they went to treat him initially? Were the tests done on the top on the concussion? Yes, when they treated him initially. Yes. Yes. And uh, Klaus, how did you feel personally when you saw him come over bad? Because it looked like he was almost going to collapse. Yeah, in this moment, uh, you are focused on the game. You are, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's too difficult to think too much. In, in that moment, you you must to. To, to let the, 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 the doctor, the medical staff, to, to, to make uh, his job. Of course, um, I was worried. It's normal, you know, because uh, for me, the most important is the, is the, the, the integrity, or I don't know how you say, health. the health of, of, the, of the player before the, the game. And in that moment, for me, all that decide the doctor it's okay. I, I never am going to be involved. Uh, I wasn't involved in the past, and I'm not going to be involved in the future. For me, always is the health of the player before the game. And if the, the, from the uh, early moment they say to me, change, change, I'm not going to, to doubt about, about that. Um, you know, for me, uh, in that type of situation, always the medical staff or the doctor are the boss in the, in the, uh, on the decision. Only I need to listen and hear what they said and take the decision. And I never am going to debate, I'm going to put in question the decision of the medical staff. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Thank you. Good night.